Hello and welcome to our new series of videos for the new Metricon Data Broker 2.0 How-To Guide. In this series, we are going to demonstrate each of the modules of the How-To Guide as a separate short and quick video. My name is Alexander Hein and I am from the Metricon Technical Solution Consultant team and will present you the first video. So let's start with the first module, which is how do I connect OPC UA Explorer to MDB. In this video, we will go over the instructions step by step and show you the single steps in our demo environment. The first step is to start the metric on OPC UA Explorer. As next, it is necessary to establish a connection to our data broker. In order to do so, please click this Add New Server button and fill in the details of your data broker into this discovery window. Into the host IP name field, it is necessary to fill in the host name or IP of the machine where the data broker is located. In this case, this is local host. In the port field, we have to fill in the port on which the data broker is listening. In this scenario, I set the data broker to listen on the port 4444. Now we can click search and we get a list of data broker endpoint descriptions where we can choose one of the endpoints depending on the required security mode. Additionally, it is necessary to select the right authentication method for the data broker. Here it is the authentication with username and password and the default username is admin and blank password. So please note that on the very first connection, you might run into a security error indicating that Data Broker is not trusting the application certificate of the UA Explorer. So it will be necessary to accept the certificate first in order to allow a successful connection. This process will be shown in one of the following how-to videos. Uh, in, this, in this scenario, we already accepted the certificate of the UA Explorer. We can simply proceed with the connect button. Now we see the connection has been established and now we are able to see the address space of the data broker. Going back to the home page, we see that now we are properly connected to the data broker. And this is already the, the goal of this module. So thank you very much for your attention and goodbye.